despite living in Atlantic Canada for my entire life, I still don't like winter. I've tried. I've tried skiing, I've tried snowmobiling, and even a hot tub can't fix my seasonal depression. Oh yeah, that's hot. Oh, it burns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, between the short daylight hours and the ridiculously cold days, I would much rather hibernate from December through March. If only that was an option. I'm Ben Cummings and this is my family. And <laughs> that is me. We're on a journey towards self-sufficiency. Solar is one of those ways. And our ultimate goal is to be off-grid and to grow rather than buy all of our groceries. Unfortunately, I may have underestimated what it takes to truly get there. I hate rainy days. We struggle to grow a garden. We struggle to grow our animals and keep things alive. It works so much cuter. This isn't my favorite kind of lettuce. It's kind of leafy and floppy. I gotta build some some boxes, some raised garden beds. Oh, we have an issue. We're stuck in the yard. I'm gonna have to get the wheeler and pull this out and I'm gonna need your help. <laughs> yes. After being rescued from our two-wheel drive fiasco, we needed to point our attention to more pressing matters. It was only February, and we were already running out of firewood. February, at least where we live, is the coldest month of the year. It's not uncommon for temperatures to drop and stay below negative 30 degrees Celsius, or negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. At least this time of year, the days are getting longer, so as long as you're wearing dark clothing, you're still soaking up plenty of ambient heat from the sun. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for our stark white cottage. That's probably why we ran out of firewood inside in the first place. Relatively, which is annoying. 
I mean, I should probably do it in inches, let's be honest. So, uh, for the hydroponic setup, what we're doing ooh, is we're using these PEX pipes, or IPEX. Although springtime was starting to feel so close, we were still so very far away. We were itching to grow our own food, and I had been researching hydroponics. We got something started, onions, she wanted to start basil, and it's currently negative 30 outside. So we're growing some itty bitty plants, and I'm excited to see, these are all our little lettuces. I think some of that spinach, beans, and whatnot. All we wanted was for our garden to grow better than it had the year before. And if that took planting in February to make that happen, well, then so be it. Regardless of where you live, you're bound to encounter insufferable nuisance. In a city, it might be traffic or noise pollution, but in the country, we have black flies, which makes gardening in the spring and summertime nigh impossible. Too many bug bites. crazy. I got all the rose plows so that Nicole can plant in the morning. I think I'm gonna stake the rose and then I'm gonna be done for today because I'm getting eaten alive. So many bug bites. Oh my goodness. Woo! Oh. Despite our garden looking promising in the springtime, we got busy. We neglected to weed and water it and ended up unintentionally growing more wildflowers than produce. And I don't know if you've ever eaten wildflowers, but they're not really as nutritious as a cob of corn, a head of lettuce, or a bunch of carrots. Unfortunately, what we've seen over the last year is that it's not as easy as we would have hoped keeping chickens and pigs and rabbits and even growing a garden has proved significantly difficult. With that in mind, I wanted to do everything in my power to be ready in advance for the following growing season. And if that meant risking frostbite to build raised garden beds in my uninsulated tool shed, then so be it. I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna be enough for anything. I got a huge pile here that I still need to take the nails out of. Nicole is taking nails out of the dead ones that we can use to burn because they're just heat treated wood. And uh, yeah, we're just, we're partying in the shed. An unfortunate hallmark of homesteading is being cheap. Call it saving money or being frugal, whatever you call it, we're cheap. So that means just about everything I build. This here is my design for my raised garden beds. Is made from recycled materials, salvaged pallets, old water barrels. Like I said, cheap. Entirely out of pallet wood. A project that should have taken a mere matter of hours had I gone to a hardware store, was taking me months to finish. Now I could blame it on the cold, but let's be honest, there's a reason people don't often build from pallet wood. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Cut through my 
like negative 20. Sun is going down. And uh, last night was bad. Last night I spent most of the night stoking the fire. Oh, and I couldn't find my hat, so toddler hat. <sighs> You see, a homestead isn't one of those properties that you can simply walk away from in the wintertime. There are no Floridian or Cuban vacations because you've still got animals to care for. Self-sufficiency comes with a price. However, the reward is so very valuable. Hey girls, how's everybody doing? You liking the sun? Yeah. Not much happens around here. You keep the wood stove stoked, you keep the chickens fed, you keep everybody alive, and that's pretty much all there is to do. It's beautiful, look at this. It's gorgeous out here, but there's not much to do. We're waiting. This, actually, is where our garden is going to be this coming year. For there and there. It seems as though I may have finally embraced winter, which despite not liking it, when you've got six months of freezing temperatures and you can't escape for a vacation, you either need to embrace it or put your mind somewhere else. Gotta do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to keep your mind off the weather so that you don't end up like my boy Sawyer here. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on with me. For more Homegrown, visit homegrownshow.ca. To keep up to date with our homestead and see behind the scenes footage. Welcome to the first official day of filming for Homegrown season one. Follow us on social media and from our family to yours, keep growing, keep learning, and fail forward. <laughs>